Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the Create Vibrato setting in Autotune. Now, this is gonna work for Autotune Pro. It's gonna work for Autotune Artist, any DAW, any version. First things first, I am not talking about this natural vibrato setting. This is to accentuate or reduce naturally occurring vibrato from like a classically trained vocalist. That's not what I'm about, that's cool. It doesn't really seem to work well for me. What I'm more interested in is creating vibrato in an already flattened out vocal track. If you have a lot of auto-tune on your vocal track and you want some more naturalness, some more life, some more modulation, this is a great way to do it. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play this track just so you can hear. This is a demo I'm working on. I'll link it when I drop it. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. But we can get it back in a moment. We don't got a toe tag on this. Words are getting set of raw nonsense. All right, so hopefully you could hear it, but if you couldn't, let's just hop in and I'll make sure that you can hear it. Now, first off, if you don't already know, you can hop in and get to these settings, advanced in the old version, create vibrato, all these settings here. In the new version, it's just the advanced tab at the bottom. Either way, it's gonna be the same settings. It's gonna sound exactly the same. But to make sure you could hear it, I'm gonna turn that pitch all the way up to 100. And this is just making the pitch portion of the vibrato effect really pronounced, so it's gonna be really obvious. Let's take a listen. I can see the words in your eyes You could disconnect if you like But we can get it back in a moment We don't got a toe tag on this We're The great thing about this effect is that vibrato is not always happening. Now, if you just had modulation on your vocals, it would kind of sound warbly and the pitch would be weird. But for this, you can select when that vibrato is going to be kicking in, which is why I love this effect so much. You can use this for a natural sounding vibrato or something more creative. I'll kind of show you the ropes so you can get the effect you want. So let's just hop right in. First off, moving from left to right, we've got this shape. It's gonna start off at off, and then you can go ahead and select sign. Honestly, that's what I would do. You can go ahead and try sawtooth and square. These are basically the LFOs for this vibrato. Sign is gonna be what a natural sounding vibrato sounds like. You can use sawtooth or square just to try it out, but it's gonna sound a little strange. That's not what a normal human voice vibrato would do. Next thing we have is rate. This is how fast that vibrato is. And with leaving the pitch up at 100, so you can hear, I'll turn it down to five. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. But we can get it back in a moment. Instead of that quick, punchy vibrato, it's this slow kind of warbly vibrato. Uh, I don't really want that. Maybe if you had a ballad or something, this would be helpful, but I like it fast. I'll go ahead and turn up to 10 just so you can kind of hear the other end of the extremes. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. I would say from the five and a half to eight range is kind of where it sounds best. Next is delay and onset rate. These two settings are tied together, so I'm going to go over them together. These are essentially placing where this vibrato is happening. Delay is saying, once auto-tune is detecting a note, how long after that note is started is the vibrato gonna kick in? This has nothing to do with like the delay effect that you might be used to. This is just saying how long does this note have to be before this effect comes in. So this is 225 milliseconds. And for a song like this, where it's mostly rapping and the longer notes are actually not that long, this actually is probably where we wanna be. So I'll turn it down to zero, just to give you an idea. And I'll turn onset rate down to zero as well. I'll tell you why in a second. At this setting, we should have it so it's just warbly the whole time. I can see the words in your eyes. Now you might want to do something experimental like that. It doesn't sound good to me. So let's go ahead and mess with delay. I'll turn it back up to, let's say 700. Now this is going to be so long that the vibrato isn't even going to kick in. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Having it right in the pocket of how long are these notes that I'm singing and how long are the long ones where I want vibrato? Figuring out how long that is, is gonna really help you. Now, the next part of this effect is onset rate. Now, if delay is saying, how long in this note will I go before I kick in the vibrato? Onset rate is how long will it take for that vibrato to be full force? Because obviously you don't want uh, just vibrato to kick in from zero to 100, you want it to be a natural like ramp up. 
So I'll give you an example. If I have just a little bit of delay, but no onset rate. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. It seems like you don't hear it, and then suddenly you do. It's not really what I'm about. So I'll go ahead and turn that onset rate up a little bit, and we're back to our natural sound. Now, the other opposite end of the spectrum is taking that delay out and just having onset rate. It sounds like this. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. I kind of hear it subtly on every note, and then it just ramps up. How long until that vibrato kicks in, and then how long until that vibrato reaches full force. So those two things in tandem are probably the most important settings. Next is variation. This is kind of a randomizer of all of these settings. The rate, the delay, it kind of will affect how robotic and computerized this all sounds, or if you really want to turn it up, it's going to be all over the place. I usually keep it around 30, pretty natural feeling, but also tight and predictable. That's all the create vibrato settings. The next is the modulate settings. Now these settings are, now that we have this vibrato setting established, what is this going to do to our vocals? So the first thing is obvious pit. If we have it all the way turned up like we do, uh, you'll hear that it's super warbly. Uh, it's not really the sound we're going for. Maybe if we turn it back to 30, we'll see how that sounds. I can see the words in your eyes. It still sounds a little bit too much. I'll turn it down to maybe 20. But you can hear it's a lot more subtle. It's a lot more natural, which is what we want. Next is amplitude. This is going to be how loud of a fade in, fade out. Instead of the pitch going up and down, it's going to be getting louder and quieter. So if we turn that all the way up. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. It has this fade in and fade out effect that's really quick. Adjusting that to your taste will be really important. In tandem with pitch are the important ones. I personally don't find format to be too effective. It'll make it sound deeper or like higher pitched without changing what the actual note is. So I'll go ahead and turn amplitude all the way down and pitch all the way down. I can see the words in your eyes. You could disconnect if you like. But we can get it back in a moment. I feel like I subtly hear it, but not nearly as pronounced as the amplitude and pitch. With all of these things in combined, again, you're going over what is the effect and then what is that effect controlling. These settings are kind of the more natural sound, maybe like 20 on pitch, amplitude around the middle, format I wouldn't really worry too much about. Hopefully that covers it, uh, how to create unnatural natural sounding vibrato and auto-tune if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments i'll check those i'll see you on the next one